Celeste by Envy. It's a gorgeous, long layered, beautiful. It says in the specs that it's straight, but when I put it on, you're going to see that it has a little mo movement. It's not bone straight like Gwenny Paltrow. Remember her? Anyway, I wanted to show it to you today because it's got a beautiful full mono top on the top, open cap. So even though it's long, it doesn't weigh very much and it's nice and cool. Okay. In the back, again, you have those pull tabs. Envy seems to like these and I do too because they're very thin inside the uh, cap and a lot of times the Velcro will sometimes itch you and you'll have to scrape a little bit of it off. So this is no Velcro, but it's a tab. And you pull it until you think it'll fit you. Then when it fits you, you either pin it or sew it to that particular size. Because when you walk around the rest of the day, it won't loosen on you and you'll be so confident and secure. Her beautiful color, guys, look at this color. Her gorgeous color is called Sparkling Champagne. And it's got a medium brown roots, which I love, so it is a little bit rooted. And then you've got a mix of blonde highlights. And it's a neutral blonde, which is gonna be this little color that you see. And then it's a lighter golden blonde. The mix is just beautiful. I can't wait to try it on for you. Of course, it's too long for me, but you know, what the heck, we can dream. All right, her bangs are five. Her uh, crown is eight, see that? And then her sides are like 10 and a half, and they're face framing, they come in like this, guys. And then the nape is a whopping 14 and a half. So from the nape, right back here, down your back, it's going to be 14 and a half inches. And that's a nice long wig. Now, I told, you, I told you before, but I want to tell you again. When I have a long wig like this, first I fix it at the nape so it'll fit me. And then I hold on with my two or three fingers to the ear tabs. Do you see that, guys? I flip it around because it's easier than flipping the whole wig over because then you really have a mess. Now, see, I haven't really messed it up. I go down to the back here, pull down to the occipital bone, the base. I can't wait to show you the length on this. Now, I found my tipple tabs. I curve them a little bit. Then when you get them where you want them, one, two, three, four, and that really tightens them in. Now we're going to go one, two, three, four. Some of you are four, some of you are five. This beautiful five in the bag, you're going to see how it's just going to frame your little face. Then you get to this crown, which is eight, but then you get to your ten and a half on the sides. I'm going to get a a little comb because I want to show you how it frames your face. See here guys? Chum 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 chum. I always call that chum chum chum. That is so flattering. Then you can always, because bangs are five, so you can always slip it, slip it back, put it behind your ear like that, and then you bring the rest over. See that? And there's your face framing. Sparkling champagne. <laughs> I love that. Sparkling champagne. You've got the medium brown roots. I love the rooted. Then you've got this beautiful, see what I was talking about? It's not bone straight like Gwenny. It's got some movement to it and it's even got a little bit of flipping out. See that guys? Face framing, sparkling champagne, medium brown roots, 
Then you've got a neutral and a light gold blondes all blended together and then they highlight it. I'm going to turn like this so you can see the back. 14 and a half from the make, guys. You sexy little mama. Have a great day. Remember, her name is Celeste. Sparkling champagne. Have a great day. Bye.